The entire nation has been grieving for the victims of the Sewolho ferry disaster for a number of days now. And on this Tuesday, a much larger memorial altar opens at a park in Ansan, which is the city so awfully touched by this tragedy. We're seeing rain nationwide today as well, but that hasn't stopped tens of thousands of people paying tribute to those who lost their lives on the ill-fated ferry. We now connect live to our Chi Myung-gil, who is standing by at the Ansan Kwarang Memorial Hall. Myung-gil, fill us in. Good afternoon. This new memorial hall opened earlier this morning, and people have been streaming in to say their last goodbyes. As you can see behind me, there is a long line of people just waiting to get into the memorial altar. Just three hours ago, President Park Geun-hye visited the memorial altar and paid tribute to the victims of the Seoul ferry. She also spoke to relatives of the victims. As you mentioned, the altar has been relocated to this park in Ansan as the number of mourners has grown and grown in recent days. The Ansan Hwarang Memorial Hall is six times larger than the previous altar, which was at the Ansan Olympic Memorial Park. The altar displays portraits of the victims, including 152 students and four teachers from Ansan's Tanon High School. Over the past six days, some 180,000 people have visited the altars set up in this city. Yes, thousands and thousands of people have been there, and it seems as though the city has been overwhelmed by the sheer number of people wanting to say their last goodbyes. How will this new altar be run, and, and can just anyone go down there and pay their respects? Yes, they can. The new memorial altar will be open for 24 hours, and everyone is free to come and pay tribute to the victims who just lost their lives so tragically. The new memorial altar is run by the government and is jointly sponsored by the Gyeonggi-do province and the Ansan city. To handle the volume of people coming here, more than 30 shuttle buses will be laid on to help people get to and from nearby subway stations. There's also a huge parking lot with rooms for nearly 3,000 cars right next to the altar. People who can't make it here can instead send text messages or personal letters commemorating the victims. The messages are posted up on a bulletin board so they can be read by mourners paying their respect here. This was Chim Young-gil reporting from Ansan Hwarang Memorial Altar.